So we are now looking at question number 28 of set D of the IIT JEE main 2017 paper. And the question is like this. We have to find the radius of the circle touching the curve y is equal to 4 minus x square and the lines y is equal to modulus of x. So the curve given to us is y is equal to 4 minus x square and the lines are y is equal to modulus of x. And we have to find the radius of the circle that touches these two curves. Now note that the radius of the circle can be any value but we have to find that specific radius with minimum area. So the condition here is that minimum area of circle is the given condition in addition to these constraints to us. And we have to find a radius of the circle with minimum area so that these two curves and the lines are tangents to the circle. Well, let us get started with this diagram. Well, first if you look at this curve y is equal to 4 minus x square, you will realize that it is an inverted parabola and so if you look at y is equal to 4 minus x square, you will get a curve that looks like this. So this is the curve that is 4 is equal to y minus x square or rather y is equal to 4 minus x square. So we've drawn the curve here successfully. Note that this point over here will have the coordinate 0 comma 4 because if you put x is equal to 0, you get the corresponding value of y as 4 and so this is 0 comma 4. Now this point here is the origin and now we are looking at these lines y is equal to modulus of x. Now when y is equal to modulus of x, we can get either y is equal to plus x which is this line or you can get y is equal to minus x which is this line. So these two lines comprise the graph of y is equal to modulus of x. And now we have to find the radius of the circle such that it touches this curve and also these lines. And so we have to find such a circle that touches these two lines and also this curve and such that the area of that circle is minimum. So let's get started. Well, from the condition given in the problem, realize that because this is a symmetrical figure, the circle, the center of the circle will lie on the y-axis and so we can assume a point on the center of the circle as having coordinate 0 comma k. Well, now that we have assumed the center of the circle as 0 comma phi, we can now draw a perpendicular to this line y is equal to x. Now, why am I drawing a perpendicular here? Because we know that if O 0 comma k is the center of the circle, then, then this point here will be perpendicular to the line y is equal to x. And so if we draw a circle like this, it will look somewhat like this. That is, this circle that we've drawn, it will be it will have a common tangent as this line. y is equal to x will be a tangent to this circle. And likewise, because y is equal to x will be a tangent to this circle, this line here will be perpendicular to the tangent and so this will be the radius. So we will denote the radius by capital R or rather by small r. So we have the radius of the circle is equal to small letter r. And now we have to find the radius such that this circle has minimum area. So note that if we have a point x1 comma y1 then from that point a uh, length of perpendicular to the a given line can be found by this formula. So we are looking at a formula now wherein if our point is x1 comma y1 then length of perpendicular from x1 comma y1 to a line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is given by, well, now the standard formula that if length of the perpendicular from this point x1 comma y1 to the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is to be found, then we use the formula that this is ax1 plus by1 plus c, the whole divided by under root of a square plus b square. So this will be the length of the perpendicular. In our case, our point x1 comma y1 is 0 comma k and so if we substitute x1 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to k, we get length of perpendicular, this length that we get. Note that this length here is the radius denoted by small letter r and so by this condition I can write radius r is equal to length of this perpendicular. Now length of this perpendicular is given by this formula and so I can now write, write here that length of perpendicular, here the points are 0 comma k. And here we have x1 comma y1. So if we substitute x1 is 0 and y1 is k, we can now write r is equal to this length of perpendicular radius that is ax1. Now the line we are talking about is x is equal to y and x is equal to y can further be written as x plus minus 1 into y plus 0 is equal to 0. And here comes a coefficient 1. 
Now, if we compare these two, this line over here and this line over here, you will get capital A is equal to 1. So I will put capital A is equal to 1. Then capital B will be equal to minus 1. So we will write capital B is minus 1. And likewise, C will be equal to 0. So here the C is 0. And now if we substitute these values in this formula, we will get R is equal to AX1. Now, X1 here is equal to 0. And so A into X1 will be 0. And so we come to the next term BY1. Now, here B is equal to minus 1. So we write minus 1 in place of B. And y1 is this point having coordinate k, or rather y coordinate k. And so we write a k here for y1. Then we add a plus c, but c here is 0. And so we add a 0. And then the de denominator, we have under root of a square plus b square. Now, a is equal to 1, and b is equal to minus 1. And so we can write 1 square plus minus 1 the whole square. And when you solve this, you will get the value of r. So R is obtained as, note that here we are dealing with modulus because radius is always modulus of this. And so here also, there's a modulus in the formula. Now when you solve this, you will get R is equal to modulus of minus K upon under root of 2. So we will disregard the modulus sign because we will deal with only positive K because the situation is symmetrical about the Y axis. So we can consider only the right hand side where all X and Y are both positive. And so we get R is equal to K by root 2. So we've obtained an expression for radius in terms of k, that is the center of the circle. Or rather, the y coordinate of the center of the circle. So now we've obtained r is equal to k by root 2. So from here we can substitute the value of k. So therefore k will be r times root 2. And this is the first result that we will preserve for later use. So let's call this our equation 1, because we get a value of k as r into root 2 from here. Well. Now, if you look at this figure, because we are talking of circle with minimum area, there has to be a condition that this circle will always meet this given parabola at this point. That is, it will not touch the parabola at two different points because it is a circle with minimum area. And so we will always have this point common to the circle and the parabola. So note that now here, the radius is 4 minus k because the y coordinate here is 4 and the y coordinate here is k. And so the radius becomes 4 minus k. And so I can now equate the radius to 4 minus k. So I can now write, 4 minus k is equal to radius from this result over here. But now we know that k is r into root 2, so we can replace k by r into root 2. So we here get r into root 2 is equal to r. So 4 minus r into root 2 is equal to r. And from here, if you further solve, you get the value of 4 as r into 1 plus root 2, which can be rewritten by tacking r on the right hand side and the remaining terms on the left hand side. So we get 4 upon 1 plus under root of 2. Now when you rationalize this term, you can multiply it by 1 minus under root of 2 in the numerator and denominator, and so you get such a term. Well, if you solve this further, you will get this denominator will come to 1 square minus 2, which will be minus 1, and so you get the value of r as. So now in the denominator, we get a minus 1, and if you resolve the numerator, you will get a value minus of 4 into root 2 minus 1. Now when you cancel out this minus sign from numerator and denominator, you get the radius of circle as 4 times root 2 minus 1. And so this will be the final answer to our question. So we've now successfully solved this question in which the radius of the circle satisfying these conditions and with the circle having minimum area is equal to 4 into root 2 minus 1. And so we report the answer finally as radius of this circle is r is equal to 4 into under root of 2 minus 1 unit length. So this is the answer to this question.